In this video, I'm going to explain how to mark attendance for a lesson in TutorCruncher. You can only mark attendance if you're doing group classes, or so at least two students, and you can do this on your admin account, or the tutor can do it himself when he's like marking a lesson and complete and all that stuff. So we're in the tutor queue right now, so let's go to the job. And this is the lesson. So time for the lesson is taking place. Um, yeah, these are the three students in the lesson, and let's say Isabella, uh, Isabella was there, but William and James weren't. So we get three options. First option is attendant and chargeable. So she attended, so obviously we're going to charge her for that lesson, or that Anthony in this case. So, and then William. Let's say he's had an accident, and that's why he wasn't on time and didn't couldn't make it to the lesson. And we, so he did not attend, but we don't want to charge him for the lesson because he had an accident, for example. You can choose a second option if that's the case. And now we won't charge him, even though, so he hasn't attended and we won't charge him. And then there's James. He was simply just late or he just forgot that he had a lesson planned. So he did not attend, but we're still going to charge him for the lesson. So if you want to do that, choose the third option and now he will be charged even though he didn't attend. And then when the tutor marks lesson is complete, the tutor will control save the attendance and then depending on how you're taking your payment, the tutor crunch will either write it off their balance or um, yeah, in include this information in the next invoice. And that's how marking attendance in the tutor crunch works.